Hey everyone, this is Mr. Saints Godzilla 21, and today we'll be analyzing a rare 20 minute video of Saints Row the Cooler. Just as a brief recap, The Cooler was a cancelled motion controlled arcade game for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. You would play as a bar bouncer, with the main objective being to fight enough enemies to unlock the next level. It began development by Heavy Iron Studio in March of 2010. After six months, THQ stepped in and cancelled the project for quote quality concerns. The cooler wouldn't be revealed to the public until 2014, and a trailer wouldn't leak until 2017. And now, thanks to the YouTube user Rob Roto, we can see 15 minutes of uninterrupted gameplay and another 2 minutes of conceptual gameplay. Rob Roto is a developer at Heavy Iron Studio, and his channel is filled with games the company never released like Rush Zone, Toy Story 3, and a Kinect game called Disney E-Ticket. So with that said, let's dive into the video. The first minute and 40 seconds of the video shows the trailer that was leaked by iSpeed the 45 two years ago. Since we've seen this before, I'll be skipping ahead. Okay, so the new gameplay begins with a cutscene at TNA. The first notable character we see is Mero. If you've seen my previous Cooler video, I speculated that his model is merely a placeholder and that he'd likely appear as a boss in a later mission. You see quite a few Maros throughout the playthrough, so he's for sure not meant to be here. The cutscene ends with a POV of your character talking to a bar stewardess. She tells you to keep an eye out for rowdy bikers, you stare at her tits, then she walks away. Also, midget strippers come out for a little bit of fun. Now that the player has control, it appears that moving around the level is limited to an on-rail system. It's not shown here, but from the trailer you could apparently get this girl's number. And I might be looking too far into things, but this Brotherhood member might be a reference to the bar cutscene in Saints Row 2. On to the first fight, the camera pans back to a third-person view. We see later that the player can freely switch back and forth between both perspectives. As for the fighting, it's clear that a lot more polish was needed. In fact, it looks like block and dodge doesn't even function. But you have to keep in mind that early motion controlled games weren't too responsive. I can't even begin to imagine how rough an unfinished motion controlled game would play. After the first fight, you have the option to replenish your health at the bar. Once a player selects a drink, they need to catch it using the motion controls. Back to the gameplay, the player sits down to watch a little stripper action. For some reason, I get a Duke Nukem Forever vibe from watching this. Moving on to the next location, there's a TV playing the main menu cutscene from Saints Row 2. So that would place this game's events prior to the boss waking up from their coma. Next, we're greeted to a cutscene with dialogue on par with Ride the Hell Retribution. Fuck you, bitch. You're not get on here, girl. Oh. Then another fight breaks out, with the only exception being the player wielding a knife. It's not clear if the knife is something you can equip, or if it's automatically given to you during the segment. As the fight progresses, the knife appears to break. It's probably safe to assume that the knife functioned as a limited damage boost that would degrade after every hit. After beating all the bike members, the leader runs off into the bathroom where, wait, hold up, is that pre-Saints Lieutenant Pierce? He has the same hat, earrings, and watch, but it's too hard to tell if his chain has the letter P. As the protagonist runs to the bathroom, there's a potential easter egg of a few Heavy Iron Studio employees. I wouldn't be surprised if this picture was taken straight from the bulletin board in their office. Now we're on to the level's boss fight. He takes a big hit of coke, then it's fisty cup time. Oh, damn, that's some good shit. <laughs> what I did to that toilet ain't nothing compared to what I'm going to do to you. The big difference with the boss fight is that he can only be hurt by throwing him into the bathroom stall a couple times. This is also a good time to mention that many of the animations are pulled directly out of Saints Row 1 and 2. Whether or not these were temporary, it definitely helps give the game its Saints Row distinction. The level ends with a short cutscene of the bathroom attendant telling the protagonist where to participate in a fight club. On to the second and final level, it begins with a cutscene of the fight club in a meatpacking plant. Something interesting to note is that a handful of props here are directly from the Saints Row 1 multiplayer lobby. Easily the most exciting part of this gameplay is seeing the co-op feature for the first time. And is that Bruce Lee? Compared to the earlier gameplay, you can tell that this is a later build. The health bar has been changed, plus respect has been removed in favor of what I believe is an adrenaline meter. The two players are also able to block and dodge, and the graphics are slightly more polished. During the combat, the letters NP show up from time to time at the bottom right corner. This is likely a combo counter for every consecutive hit. Another notable icon is a film camera in front of the health bar. This was possibly a record feature for either the gameplay or maybe even the player. <laughs> 
sadly, this is where the level ends. After beating two waves of enemies, the level just kind of stops. But what can you really expect from a cancelled game? On the bright side, the gameplay is followed up with a conceptual trailer. It gives you an idea for the types of combat moves they wanted to implement and how the overall gameplay would function. And finally, the video ends with an extended version of the trailer that leaked. It starts with a message saying the game's exclusive to the Xbox and Natal. Quite curious since numerous outlets stated the game was for both the Xbox and PlayStation. Another noticeable change is the Kinect icon. Maybe the game started as an exclusive before going multi-console? Uh, I have no idea. It's honestly pretty confusing since the trailer shows gameplay from multiple different builds. The build with the Kinect icon also has an adrenaline bar and a combo meter which didn't appear in the earlier playthrough. One final note is that the trailer only refers to the game as the cooler. No idea why they take Saints Row out of the title, but there you have it. And that's the video. Quite a lot of new information that wasn't previously known. There's still a lot of questions to be answered, but who knows what the future might hold. Anyways, I hope you found this video entertaining. If you'd like to watch the original Cooler video from Rob Roto, please check the description below. Also, a special thanks to my Patreon sponsors, John, Jordan Flattery, KLM, and Scissor. Like always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.